Welcome, everybody, to a retro time. This is Commander Keen, number one and number four. I'm going to be showing you. If you've never used DOSBox before, this is how you use it. It's going to start off with a Z. You're going to want to type in mount C space C colon. There's a space between mount and C as well. Backslash. And what you want to do is place... For the sake of ease, I've placed my DOS games into a folder called Keen, and I placed it right in my C drive. Type in Keen. It says it's already mounted because I already did it. Then you switch over to C by going C colon. Hey, you can press dir. I like to do slash W so I can see it in case it's a really long list. And we want to be playing Commander Keen once, so we're going to go CD slash space because I have that in a separate folder. You can see it there. It's in those the third italicized brackets. Command tilde one, and then dir forward slash w, and the exe file is keen one. All right. So Commander Keen was a project made by Apogee and ID originally because they wanted to port Super Mario Brothers three over to the computer. Nintendo didn't believe they could do it, so to entice them, they created a uh, they created this engine purely for the purely for the reason just to to run mario they made their own little pirated bootlegged mario game sent to nintendo to show what they could do and nintendo probably said we're very honored you did this but uh, rejected it uh, i think it's it's one hit one hit kill i don't know if you can get shields later on uh commander king 4 looks a heck of a lot better than this but this is where the game got its start, because after Nintendo said no, they just took the engine they had already made, and they uh, made their own little mascot platformer. For people on the PC, this was probably the best platforming game at the time. The physics feel pretty good, the jumping feels pretty good, probably because they ripped it off from Nintendo directly. There's a pogo stick, that's a lot of fun, and he has a ray gun. I don't think that this level is very fun, but you can see in this level here how much it looks like Super Mario Bros. 3. Doesn't look like we can get out of there. Ah, we won't quit. We'll just jump up these Mario 3 platforms. Oh my god. It looks so much like, uh... You hear in your mind. It is too bad that you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet, human. So that's probably encouraging you to pick up those uh, books we see around. You can't hear the sound, but trust me, the sound is awful, and you probably wouldn't want to hear it. So they used the, uh, they actually expanded on the, on the, the level selection from what you had in Mario 3, and even Super Mario World was, was stuck on a track. Ah, if you had that pogo stick, it would be a lot better. Oh, think of how many delicious sounds that would have, that would have sent off. I don't know if we have any ray guns yet, do we? No. We're defenseless. I think you can jump on these these mother aliens, but uh, we're not going to be doing that. So we're going to need a key of some kind. This is a lot like those games uh, Crystal Caves. That was a great little um, early platformer on the PC where you find a lot of crystals to open up doors. Everything is a little bit smaller. Still pretty fun. I, I noticed that these games are a lot more vertical than, uh, than say, Mario was, where Mario was purely horizontal-based. There's a lot of up and down. Oh, my gosh. A lot of transparent objects. Some kind of music key. That probably lets us open up this door up here. Oh, we bounced right off him. I wonder why that happened. Last time the guy touched me, I died. But not this time. God, the sound effects are miserable, and you're so so lucky you can't hear them. Oh, there's a gigantic freakazoid. I wonder if we can jump on top of him. There's another key. So they I can't kill you, I guess. That's pretty nice. But now we have the ray gun. Probably going to need that key. Yep. It doesn't take them out for long. Take that, Mario. Dynamic gameplay. Although Mario did that with the with the Koopa Troopas. So these guys will kill you. Sight on sight and scene. They'll kill you right away. The trigger happy. These guys are they smile a lot. Of course they can't kill you. 
Look at that happy face. Now that is very um, forgiving first enemy. Can't even kill you. I know the Goombas couldn't jump and move around like Koopa Troopas. That's why Miyamoto created them in the first place, just to have a, a more of a tutorial-like enemy. But these guys... Oh my god, I don't know what the heck that thing is. Anyways, that is Commander Keen 1. Let's check out Commander Keen 4. So we'll quit to DOS. We will go CD slash to get back. We'll take a look at the directory. Keen 4 E. For some reason, there's an E for the Commander Keen experience. They had made a few episodes, I think, uh, maybe three different episodes. That's probably why this one is called Commander Keen Episode 4. But this one is quite the improvement. You're going to want to go to Configure, Keyboard, Buttons, and you're going to want to make sure you are happy where Fire is because Fire was on Space for me and Control Alt to Space. I guess I could I could float with my thumb, but I'm gonna, I like my middle finger hitting the Shift key. And that's it. Let's pop into this game. You're in a game? Yeah, I know. Because I had to re-record this garbage. There we are, walking around. You'll notice that, just like the first one, Nintendo didn't copy this style until Super Mario 3D World on the old Wii U. And I guess first on the uh, 3DS, Super Mario 3D Land, the most Japanese-sounding Mario game ever. So we can jump on this guy. On this little goober. If you do an alt and then control, you'll get an immediate jump. How about this? You can go inside buildings. Take that. Mario. You couldn't do that, could you? We're going to go down later on. Almost died there to that little guy. Oh, man. Alt is so automatic for me to shoot with. If you've ever seen me play a uh, computer game on this channel, you know that I suck at using a keyboard. I just don't have the cord. I mean, if you've only used a, a console controller, you're not going to have the muscle memory built up to, uh, to have your... Your left hand has to be seriously talented when you're playing on a keyboard. And I play guitar. My left hand's doing all, all kinds of guitar chord shapes and crazy crap. But it's all muscle memory. You just train yourself to do it. All right, let's hop in here. Oh, we got tons of bullets. So we are we're pretty safe. He could hold on to ledges, too. That was pretty neat. Couldn't do that in Mario 3, could you? Or Super Mario World. No way. But you could in later Marios. So, Nintendo, you're welcome. A lot of secrets in this game. You could go back into the levels like you could in Super Mario World. Uh, a lot of switches and... Um, there's another idea Nintendo took. A lot of switches. Switch. Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that's right. A lot of gems. These were the big keys of the time. And it kind of had a very, um, like, goofy vibe, I thought. Where's that red diamond? I was playing with my good friend, Gavin. He had a much better computer than me. He had a 386, while I just had a pitiful 286. It was just underpowered enough that I couldn't play all the cool games that he had. So even though I bought Wing Commander 2 at a garage sale when I was a kid and was so excited, I had to play it on his computer because only he could run it. God, that was heartbreaking. Have a game just sitting, sitting there in the box. You're staring at it. Reading. Where's the friggin' key? We got the blue key, right? What's this one? Red? Hmm. What a puzzling game. Look at this sleepy little slug. I guess we need to go up. No, there is no up. There's this up. And... Nope. That didn't work. That is not working. What's this for then? This platform must be for something. Level two, and I'm so confused. 
All right. Ah! And I even landed on it and then ran off. All right, last attempt. It's not true. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it was for nothing. All right. Oh, this is where you needed to go, you idiot. That was a lot of points. They didn't even give them to me. They're just laughing. One, two, three. Even weirdo blue men group reject. God, he looks like he bit his tongue a million years ago. And it drove him mad. Or she. Cool, let's go see his buddy. I don't know what the timing is on that one. Gotta be really, um, really curious to know if you get a shield later on. I don't, I don't know if what kills me or what doesn't kill me, or what makes me stronger. All right, we will press the button, so that means this thing moves up now. Look at that. It had a nice, um, futuristic feel to it. Ele electromagnetic. Rocket propelled dinner mints bring you up and down. One, two, three. There he is, an old man. Kids helping old men. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. No sweat, oh guardian of wisdom. What a cool, irreverent 90s kid. Back to the Shadowlands. All right, we'll do um, maybe one or two more levels. If you want to see more, you can comment below saying, hey, more episodes. If you want to see different games, you can comment below saying, more different games. I don't know, maybe you want to see some Jaguar games? That'd be fun. Or uh, 3DO. Yeah, why not? How about the Philips CDI? How about the Neo Geo Pocket? Hmm. How about the um, Wonder Swan? Is that an emulator or is that an actual game? I don't know. Oh my lord. Oh, that's not gonna work. Back in. Ah, screw you. Maybe there's something to get down here. Explore. Everywhere, young keen. You can't hear it, but there's a there's an audio clue as it raises in pitch. One, two, three. I wonder what music I'm gonna put in the background. I was uh, watching. Okay, sounds like we got a free life. I was watching. Um, I think it's called "Did It Suck." He does great movie reviews. I've been watching his Harry Potter reviews as we've been doing Harry Potter reviews on the channel, myself and Matthew Owen. So it's nice to get other people's perspective too and see how that compares to you. Maybe he missed something. And he comes at, he comes at it from uh, an angle of, oh, right, you can guide these guys. You stand right there or there. Awesome. Yeah. I needed that. Holy Lord, is that tense. No idea what I was talking about. Oh, so he can't hurt you until he blows fire. All right. So what was the point of that? I don't know. This was like combining Metroid with Mario. God, Lord, man, suck it. All right, we won't go down there. That's not gonna work. Now I'm playing like a dummy. Shoot them all. Kill them all. Yeah. Didn't need it. That poop biodegrades real fast. 
Oh, man, you're f just running into shit. Ammo 40, drops 20, keens 1. Last life. If we die, that's it. Who knows, maybe it's, uh... Sometimes those rocks come to life, I do believe. I'm super, I'm super nervous. I know this bug is coming. There was nothing down in that one section. You know, other than some power-ups and stuff. I need keys, and I need to get to the end of the level. Alright, King, I don't think... Oh, he can jump up, but he can't jump... He can't, uh... Sorry, he can shoot up. Cannot shoot at an, at an angle. Look at these stoned-ass trees. Must be hemp trees. Oh, yeah. Nothing more satisfying than putting collectibles in a nice, beautiful arc for you to grab. All right. Beat it. Let's explore. Ice world. Cave world. Cave 2. No thanks. How about... Dusty old village. Some weird temple. Ooh, are these clues to how to beat them? These are probably pretty uh, challenging. Let's try these out. The Pyramid of Shadows. There you go. Combined everything. Mario, Metroid, Zelda. Into one. He was crapping, but there is no crap visible. Oh. One last life. You only got one life to live. Keen boy. All right. Get points, I guess. I don't know if points give you anything. I think you have to jump on those guys with a pogo stick. I think that's the deal. Not them. That's it. That was Commander Keen. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see... Uh, I can try to beat this game if you would like. Uh, yeah, more... Com caps lock. No? Comment for more. For mer. For mer. Comment for mer. There you go, Commander Keen. Let me know if you want to see more of this or other games, whatever. Until then, have a nice day.